And so what we've seen is in March and April, that casualty freight for the Russians is going down to around 600 per day, still terrible numbers, but it's not quite as severe as it was. So you're starting to see that their offensive has culminated. Uh, they are now digging in across the board to more defensive positions. You can see them preparing defenses throughout Crimea and other places. You know, everyone's waiting for the big counterattack. Uh, and there are, you know, two schools of thought on that. One is that, you know, they need to counterattack quickly and seize the, you know, seize the initiative when they can. Uh, and the other school of thought, which I tend to subscribe to, is that the longer they wait and, sh and shift the force ratio and get new deliveries of weapons and get the training under the belt, the more likely they will succeed with a counteroffensive. So I think we all seem to want a spring counteroffensive, but I don't think reality calls for that right now on a large scale. 